Biden administration abstained on a veto at the U.N. Security Council that called for a ceasefire. But the question is now what? Now, now what happens? You know, Netanyahu said, I'm not, I don't care what they say. I'm going to do what I want. And the U.S. is not going to allow sanctions against Netanyahu administration. So what's going to happen now? Well, I, we are, a lot of us are still trying to push the White House on this. I think the White House has the most pressure points to, to get things done. So far, they've held back. Uh, by they, I mean uh, Israel, but going directly into Rafa. But mm-hmm. I, I'm going around doing town halls right now, Dean, and I actually talked to one of the Biden campaign co-chairs today, and I, I expressed what I'm hearing. And I heard a lot about Ukraine, and I heard a lot about Gaza, um, uh, surprisingly. And in out counties, I, you know, I've been in some of the most remote parts of the district where I had these town halls. And, you know, what I'm trying to express is people are looking at 32,000 dead in Gaza, 200,000 people forced to, to be displaced uh, within where they live. It, it's, it's somewhat like shooting fish in a barrel, right, because people can't come and go. And they're seeing this, and there should be no surprise that people of conscience and values have a problem with it. And when Benjamin Netanyahu said he doesn't support a two-state solution, which is the preferred U.S. position for decades, uh, we have to do more. And, and the fact that we are forced to airdrop and bring food by sea because Israel will not allow it through its checkpoints for all the friendship that we've had for many years with Israel. To me, that is the biggest tragedy, that that's a pressure point that, the, honestly, the White House should push them much, much, much harder. Kids who can't eat and, and families who can't eat and, and have water and who are dying of starvation. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, this is all on his conscience, but he doesn't have one. So we have to force them to do the right thing. And uh, I, I think we need to be far more aggressive as a nation as the tragedy continues to unfold. 